Hiya once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair here. Well everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing a nice little review of this mini PC. This mini PC was sent to me by Ace Magic. This is the AD15 model which boasts the 11th gen Intel Core i7 11800H of course with Intel UHD graphics. Ships with Windows 11 Pro. This is basically a mini workstation is what this is. This low profile will keep your desk nice and clean while giving you the, the performance you need to get your work done efficiently. This model here also ships with 16 gigs of DDR4 memory and is also expandable up to 64 gigs. This unit does support 4K video. It supports up to three monitors, one of which is a type C. Then on the other side we have two HDMI ports. We also have two USB 3 ports on this side of the unit and two USB 3 ports on this side of the unit. Also has an audio jack, 3.5 millimeter. We have a gigabit LAN port here. This is Wi-Fi 6 capable also and it also supports Bluetooth 5.2. This is a very light unit. 3.8 pounds. Super light. Super compact size. Also ships with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed. This little guy is powerful enough to take care of all of your office needs including things like Photoshop, rendering videos. That Core i7 processor has 8 cores, 16 threads, 24 meg cache, and 4.7 gigahertz speeds. This is also ideal for casual gaming. We're, also, we're going to put that to the test a little bit here and see how this handles some games uh, and see if we can you know, do a few benchmarks. Uh, one of the biggest things that concerns me with mini PCs is heat. Is I built mini PCs myself, a fair, a fair bit of them for customers, and the main concern is heat. Heat is always an issue with units of this size. You get a lot of uh, performance crammed into a little small case here, so that's also something that we're going to take a really close look at and determine you know, how the cooling situation is in this. So first thing that what I want to do is probably have a look inside. So let's let me uh, let me get this kind of get this side panel off here and have a look and let's 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 see what the the motherboard itself looks like. It comes off nice and easy. I like that. Very nice. Okay, right here you can see very easily accessible memory here. And there is also your SSD. So that's pretty nice of them to have uh, to have these two items um, easily accessible like that. Also, there's a slot here if you want to put in a SSD 2.5 inch drive. So that's a pretty nice little feature there too. Like I say, easily accessible. So six screws come out next and this cover pops right off. Be careful here, You've got the SATA data and power cable there. A couple screws hold that in place. It's a better look at the board there. So we got a couple more screws here to take out before we can kind of flip this over and take a look at the cooling. Okay, here's the Wi-Fi 6 card here. I think I'm just going to just remove this screw and remove the entire card itself instead of fumbling with the antenna cables. Set that aside right there. Then we should just be able to lift the board right out. Now we can remove the board and flip it over and have a look. Oh well. Okay, fairly heavy board, fairly big little heat sink there. You got a couple of heat, heavy duty heat pipes coming out here to help cool it. Nice big ventilation vent here. It's an okay size heat sink on there I guess for what it is. You can see that there is a heat sink that are over those V-regs. I can see that right here. Not too bad. 
Let's get this reassembled and let's get this fired up and run some tests. Okay, as you can see here, I've quickly loaded up a game. This is from the Google Play Store. This is a pretty basic, simple game. Uh, running pretty darn smooth, I'll tell you that. Uh, have some, some jitters, but not too bad. Let's go ahead and make a run of this. But uh, not, not too bad at all, really. Definitely playable. Now this, this PC will not run any high graphic demanding game at all. But uh, for games like this, not too bad. So I've got HW Info loaded up here. We're taking a look at the idle temperatures of this mini PC. Idle temps uh, looking like uh, high 40s, low 50, not too bad. Let's go ahead and stress test the processor. We'll see what those high temps get to under load. Okay, we're going to start with the CPU stress test here. We've got our temps right here running at 48, 49C up top here. So let's go ahead and start this. This program here will push that processor at 100%. Right now we're at 100%. All cores. Running up to 70C? No, not even up to 70 yet. How about that? 71, we did get up above 70. 72. And I will say with the processor at 100% like it is now, I don't even hear the fans, the fan on, that, on this mini PC spinning. So it is a quiet unit under load also. That's... Okay, we're pushing almost two minutes under a full load. Temperatures average right around 67 degrees, 68 degrees C. It does hit 71 C every now and then, but uh, that's, that's pretty darn good for what this is. We're gonna stress test power. And what this does is this puts the GPU and CPU at 100%. This is, the, this is pretty much pushing your CPU, GPU, as hard as it can. So it's really putting a big stress on the entire system. Let's see what the results are on this. So now we're CPU and GPU. All right, now we're jumping straight up into the 80s. 82C, 86. Yeah, that's getting pretty hot. Yeah, it looks, it looks like we might have done a little bit of throttling there too also. It's dropped back down here, I can see. So yeah, that was a little much for it, but I would imagine it would be, but it handled it. Let's take a look here at HW monitor. We can see exactly how hot that got. Uh, yep, thermal throttling, it did. It thermal throttled, it jumped up to 88C and that's when it throttled back. But that's to be expected, honestly. That was CPU and GPU at 100%. Let's go ahead and take a look at some 4K video. Yeah, as you can see, pretty darn impressive. We got 4K video running very smooth on this machine. Let's take a look at some of these temps. While it's doing that. Yeah, temperatures are running into the 40s, running 4K video. Looks pretty smooth also, not too bad. There we go. Crisp, clear, smooth. Very nice. So here are the final results for the Crystal Disk Mark here. You see there, this is a CYX branded SSD, 512 gigs. To tell you the truth, those write speeds are faster than my Samsung 970 Pro SSD. So that is not bad, not bad at all. The read speeds are very close to my Samsung 970 Pro. Okay, you see here we got we got God of War. With the PSP playing nice and smooth on this. So, you know, like I say, it doesn't play any of the newest titles. It's not that powerful of a graphics on here, UHD Intel. But look at this, smooth enough to play some of your basic games, 
what more could you ask for really from pretty much for a business type computer it will play some games but as for things like rendering word processing browsing you know editing videos Photoshop this mini PC checks all the boxes on that I would recommend this mini PC for businesses for sure if you do it any type of rendering video editing you're just fine or you could use this in your living room play all of your videos and your movies gaming maybe not so much but it does play some of the the, the older games less taxing on the GPU especially when you're talking about at the time of this video a $400 price range for this you know that's that's really not that bad I will have a link to this mini PC down below this video in the chat consider this mini PC for your next purchase I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair see you soon